Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool director Michael J. Egan backed former U.S. President Donald Trump in the 2020 election, before owner John W. Henry became and Fenway Sports Group, FSG, backed down over plans for a European Super League. John W. Henry has issued an apology to Liverpool fans today after plans for a European Super League fell apart. The American businessman, who also owns Boston Red Sox as FSG founder, said he wanted to apologize to all the fans and supporters of Liverpool Football Club for the disruption I caused over the last 48 hours. Mr. Henry spoke of the hurt being felt and also apologized to manager Jurgen Klopp his staff and players and to everyone who works so hard at LFC to make our fans proud. He continued, in this endeavor I've let you down and I'm sorry and I alone am responsible for the unnecessary negativity brought forward over the last couple of days. It's something I won't forget and shows the power the fans have today and will rightfully continue to have. If there is one thing this horrible pandemic has clearly shown, it's how crucial fans are to our sport, and to every sport, it's shown in every empty stadium. Liverpool were one of 12 European sides to announce. On Sunday they would form a new Super League where the majority would be immune from any form of relegation. But fans across the country fumed at the idea. Mr Henry's ownership of the club has previously attracted positivity as a result of Liverpool's 2019 Champions League triumph followed by their first Premier League title in 30 years in 2020. But it appears many at FSG have also had their focus on matters off the pitch in recent years, as figures from the group have splurged millions in US election donations. Liverpool director Michael J. Egan gave $10,000 £7, to the Republican Party, represented by then-President Trump last year. There were other donations made by FSG shareholders who aren't in the management structure at Liverpool, the largest of all being through hedge fund manager Seth Klarman, a minority shareholder in FSG, who donated more than $5.1 million, more than £3.5 million, to Democratic candidates, according to the Boston Globe newspaper. Mr. Henry himself doesn't have any donations to the Democratic Party logged since he gave $58,500, £41,000, to several Democratic candidates and organizations in 2004. However, he does own the Boston Globe newspaper, a liberal publication that has opposed the Donald Trump presidency. Its editorial page backed Hillary Clinton in 2016, and two years later the paper co-ordinated a national campaign against Trump's dirty war against the free press. The latest Federal Election Commission FEC, records from the 2020 election show that many of Liverpool FC's key figures remain big backers of the Democratic Party. Liverpool chairman Tom Werner donated around $130,000 £93,000 to Democratic causes. Mr Werner's biggest donation was to the tune of $75,000 £53,000 for Unite the Country, Joe Biden's political fund. He also pledged $35,500 £25,000 to the Democratic National Committee for Mr Biden's Victory Fund, $2,800 £2,000 to the Biden for President campaign, $2,800 £2,000 to Joe Kennedy's bid for the U.S. Senate, $2,000, £1,400, to Jake Hawking Kloss for Congress and $2,000, £1,400, to the Markey Committee.